Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer, author, currently working as a Solutions Architect and I'm sure. In our last video, we have learned how to create a function app and we have also hard coded the storage account access keys as well as app insights instrumentation key. As we all know, hard coding is not a good practice. So we are going to learn how to remove the hard coding and make sure we dynamically fetch the access keys of the storage account in this video and in the upcoming videos we will learn how to dynamically fetch the app insights instrumentation key. Okay. As discussed, we will focus on retrieving the storage account access keys dynamically. Before we start, I made a mistake in our last video. The mistake I did was I checked in the code related to bicep to my GitHub account. Now I received a email from the GitHub saying that my storage account key is exposed in GitHub, which is a security issue. So when you are committing your code to GitHub, please make sure you are not committing the access keys or any other sensitive information similar to access keys. That's a security tip. Please make sure to follow that. Back to the Visual Studio code. As you can see here in the line number 15, we have hard coded the access keys of the storage account. Similarly, line number 20 and 26. Today we are going to fix this. Let me remove this hard coding. We will first fix line number 15 and then we will make the similar change in line number 90 and 27 as well. As we all know, line number 15 was automatically generated by Visual Studio tooling. So it's our responsibility to change some of these items. For example, storage account name and storage account ID and then key one. So we should fix these three elements. The first one is storage account name. So right now it is hard coded. Instead of hard coding, we need to parameterize it to storage account name which will be string and then we also need storage account id p storage account id which is also a string now we need to use these parameters here so it's very simple. So remove the hard coding and then use dollar and then flower brackets within this you pass p storage account name. That's it. And similarly, storage account ID here. Now this is old way of uh, getting the access keys so we just need to make one small change because every storage account has two types of keys key 1 and key 2 so we need to either pull the key 1 or key 2 so here list keys is a function which takes the storage account id as well as api version and it returns an array called keys now because it's an array, we just need one item. So I'll just say 0 dot value. And I would also like to change the API version to something which is latest. Maybe I'll just say 3121, 09, 01. So this should work. Now <coughs> these two are inputs to this Azure function app module so we also need to ensure whenever we are calling this module we need to pass 
the name of the storage account as well as the storage account ID. So let's go to serverless.bicep. Obviously, it started throwing an error because we created additional parameters which must be passed. So let me hit control space. Obviously, it is asking us story account ID which should be passed and then story account name which should be passed. So now we already have story account name here. So copy and paste it here. And then the next thing is we need to pass storage account ID. So this module will create a storage account name and it will also return the output. Return the storage account ID as output. So that's how we pass the output of one module as an input to another module. Save this file and we also need to make the same change in the line number 21 as well as 27. We don't need this anymore. So I'm going to delete the lines of code which are not required. So that's it. Now let me run our favorite Azure CLI deployment command to execute this script. It took a while and the execution got successful. Let's head over to the portal and see where exactly these app settings are created within function app. So navigate to the function app and then click on configuration. Within configuration blade, you can see application settings tab where you can see all the app settings that we have created using bicep so now this is one of the app settings which contains the story account along with access key so as you can see here the account name contains the story account which is passed from the parameters let me show you that as well i'm inside visual studio code now and let me open bicep serverless parameters.json file so here you see storage account name and this is the storage name uh, which we are seeing in the app settings of the function app let's also verify the other two app settings related to storage account so you can see the one that is being passed from parameters.json is being used even here and same thing even here for this app setting. So in this video, we have, we have learned how to dynamically retrieve the storage account keys by using a function called list keys. List keys accepts two parameters. One of them is storage account ID and the API version. So list keys returns two keys because storage account has key one and key two. So the return value of list keys function is an array and we only need one key. So we are using zero as an index and finally getting the value that is available in that index. That's how we dynamically retrieve the access keys of a given storage account using list keys. That's it for this video. Feel free to provide your feedback in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.